Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, my name is Mr. Beard and uh, today I want to talk about something that annoys me and that is why is nobody nesting bro? Like literally every single time since Evrima came out I think I got nested twice. Twice in like three years or how many? Four years? 2020 or something like that? That is insane, obviously, in four years. I know, nesting didn't, wasn't, all right, you get it, okay? In two years or whatever, since nesting is a thing, I got nested like two times. And I want to understand why, right? I want to understand why nobody is nesting. Because I'm literally asking this question. I'm literally asking this question because I would love to see more people nest. And I want to discuss in this video about that a little bit. I think... Personally, when I play and I reach adult with any any dinosaur, right, I don't really think about nesting anymore, right? I, and I want to know if this, this is just me or is everyone watching this video. It's like nesting does not exist in my brain anymore when I'm an adult and I don't know why, right? I would love to nest, like literally, right now I'm like, okay, I'll grow this Diablo and I'll get to adult and I'll find somebody and nest. But I think, I, I, the thought doesn't even cross my mind when I'm adult anymore because I, I have to go different places until I find somebody. Maybe that person doesn't want to nest, it's too much, you gotta take care of the diets for the kids and yourself it's just you know nobody wants to think about that anymore i also think that uh, because most of the time when i play the isle there's like sanctuaries and there's migrations and there's other places with where food spawns and i think diets and food are a big problem because i i was playing diablo today sadly i died at like 30 percent uh, to three carnos right like like one hour ago three carnos came at me and i died whatever but with that diablo i got my two diets two of my diets i got them and i went to to swamp because it says rusula spawns coastal and swamp right i even looked up the map for the isle that says go to swamp right and there's rusula i went there i literally spent an hour going there because it was night i got lost whatever and guess what there was no rusula whatsoever spawning there and they were supposed to spawn at swamp right like literally rusula spawns at swamp i don't know how plants work in the isle i don't know how food works in the isle but in real life when something grows on a piece of land they don't just stop growing there because they kind of move places, you know? Like, I don't know if the developers made it so my gr if the migration zone is at Swamp, only then Rusula spawns there, which makes absolutely no sense. Rusula should spawn at Swamp, right? Even, even if my migration is not at Swamp, right? I'm not saying, like... A bajillion of Rusula spawn there. Obviously, when the migration is somewhere, they should, like, everything should just pop there. But the problem is, I went back to the migration zone, like, literally, right now, my migration is over there on that side. If I go there, and this happened to me so many times before in the aisle, literally nothing. Like, I have literally no, no food over there in the migration. I don't know if I'm just insane or it's a problem with me, but food just doesn't spawn in the migration for me. I smell everywhere for it and I have no idea, like, wh what am I supposed to do? Like, sit there for 30 minutes until something appears? Food should already be at the migration there. When I arrive, I should be greeted by a bajillion of my diets, right? That's that's migrations, right? That You go there because my dinosaur knows there is food. So that's kind of migration because... My dinosaur, like, smells the air or whatever and knows to go there. Like, literally what animals do in real life, right? They look in Africa, like, they travel a bajillion miles or kilometers just to... They know there's food there where they're going. But if I go there at my migration over there, literally nothing. And I think that plays a huge part in uh, nesting, right? Because, in my opinion, people don't go to migrations anymore. People don't go to sanctuaries anymore. Herbivores go there, but I rarely see people in my uh, in sanctuaries. If I go to migration, there's no food there. It's hard for me to find anybody. It's fine for us to find a spot to nest in that's literally relaxing. I know I have food around me. Literally a nesting spot, right? A nesting spot that 
I know I can nest there. If I choose, like, hey, look, this is a nice spot to nest. Let me pop a nest over here. I have somebody next to me. We, we have babies, right? Water's there. Easy, right? Well, the problem is there's literally nothing around me to eat, right? Literally nothing around me to eat. So I can't really nest where I want to nest. I have to go places to nest. I, we spend literally two hours searching for a spot to nest. And by that time, either me or the person I'm with, they're like, okay, I have to do something in real life. I can't be here anymore. Goodbye. And I think that's a huge problem for the isle. Migration, if I go there, I want to be assured that for 30 or an hour, I have food there that I, you know, I can nest, I can chill there. People can come attack us, you know, as, her, as carnivores. It's going to be fun, bro, you know. But I go there, literally my migration changes very fast. Like I, I go towards that, boom, it's over there now. Like, honestly, Food is very scarce around the map. The map is sometimes very confusing. Like right now, I love this area, South Plains, because it's open fields. It's just a paradise, bro. And in my opinion, a migration zone should be like literally from those hills over there all around here over there. Like all these hills is a paradise for dinosaurs, right? To be in, to survive, to nest. Like Diablos could pick this spot over here to be their territory. Over there on the other side could be Tenontos. Over there could be whatever else, right? Pakis or whatever. Or they could coexist. And I think that that's how it should be, in my opinion. And I, I, I really have no idea why people don't nest anymore. I, I'm just talking, you know, I'm just letting my opinions out there just to discuss with you in this video. And you can leave your opinions down below about nesting and why nobody's nesting anymore. But for me, this game has become a little confusing because I don't really know all the aspects of stuff anymore. Again, I went at Swamp. It, it's supposed to spawn there. Like, literally, Swamp. Where is it? Rusula? Swamp, bruh. There's only one Swamp on this map. It's big. I, I've been in the entire Swamp. Not one Rusula, bruh. Not single one Rusula, brother. So, what do you mean? Why, why even have these here? Located coastal swamps if there's no... If I don't locate them at coastal or swamp. Like, I don't understand, right? I, I really don't understand. It's very weird to me. I don't know why this happens. But I would love to see more people nest. And I would love developers making it more easier for us to nest. Like, honestly, if the migration zone is there, let it be there for two hours. Food keeps growing, keeps growing, keeps growing. Let us chill there. Like... How 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 often does this server restart, bro? How often does this server restart? Every like six hours. So a migration zone being two hours, I don't think that's a big problem, right? You chill there for two hours, then you spend thirty minutes, and then you arrive in the new zone. You spend an hour and a half, and in thirty minutes again to walk somewhere else. I think that's a good idea, in my opinion. Now I don't understand. Like you can put your ideas down in the comments. Would you like this idea? I think it's a it's a fair idea, right? It would give you time to nest. It would give you time to have fun, chill there. Like literally, let the migration zone be this entire area here filled with food, bro. Those hills there should be rusulas. Those mangoes, those bananas, those you know, just have it. So we move around, eat in this area, literally paradise, bro. But again, I it's hard for me to find food in this game. I, I think now it's easier to spend your life as a carnivore, literally. Because you, as a carnivore, you have the mentality, okay, everything that moves, I can eat it, right? So it's easier. As a herbivore, I, can, I literally have to walk the entire map just to find an S diet now, right? I go to my migration, there's no S diet there. And then if you ask me to put a nest there over m my priorities to just, okay, I need to find food for myself. I need to keep my diets alive. I need to grow. I need to protect. I need to know all these mechanics to fight. And then at the end of the day, you, you ask me also to find a spot, a perfect spot to nest. I think that's just too much for most people, right? For most people. Sure, you can find a place with only the S diet. And that's, how, that's where you put your nest. But, you know, you can, the developers want you to give your kids full diets, right? What you give your kids food, that's what they're going to have in their stomach. The diets you have, you give them to them then why not have an area with literally all diets, bro? That literally discourages nesting.
Does that make sense? Literally discouraging nesting, in my opinion. Because, developers, if you want me to nest and have and manage my diets and my baby's diets then have an area with all the diets i need not like my that migration might have the dots right i go there i get only the dots and then i have to go on the other side of the map to get the s that does not make sense to me okay that does not make sense when it comes to nesting when it comes to survival that oh, sure that's fine i go there i eat one i go the other one at least i'm moving around the map but nesting is literally you sit in an area for an hour until your babies grow up that's nesting bro that's nesting and i think and i think how they develop this game until now is just against nesting in my opinion because they're kind of want you to move around the map more you know to get your diets not sit in a bush and grow well nesting is kind of sit in your nest and grow for an hour you know and ever somebody takes care of you well that somebody just doesn't have the food around to keep you growing i can i can feed my babies just s's for like uh, an infinite amount of time right until they grow but it's gonna take them like two hours to grow to the size i am now because if i only give them the s diet or right now i have the three dots if i only give them the three dots it's gonna take more for them to grow, thus more for us to sit in one place, which the developers do not want. If food was literally this whole migration, I have Rusula there, what else? Uh, mango, coconut. Mango there, Rusula there, coconut there. I still move around, I have to leave my nest. Somebody needs to sit with the nest here so I can go around and get the food. At least I'm moving around the map. The Somebody else, like Omnis, and the uh, ovi raptors right St egg stealers or whatever can attack my nest one pair needs to be here it's more interesting and engaging right and the food i need to grow my babies is literally around me i just have to go there and get it right like imagine rusula is here mango is over there i have to cross this river every time i decide to go over there for one diet that means dinosuchuses can be here and stop me from doing that right so I can only get Rusulas and whatever else over there. Two diets for my kids over here. If I want three diets, I have to cross the river and risk dying. You know, does that not sound fun to you guys? That does, th does that not sound like literally fun to you guys? Literally. What, like nesting in my opinion nowadays, l literally what I was saying, migration changed in the other side of the map. How are we supposed to nest if food just moves around the map and uh, we can't sit in one place for like 20 minutes? Like, babies don't grow in 20 minutes. Let's be honest. Babies don't grow in 20 minutes. And for me to put a nest here and be like, all right, well, kids, I'm going to get food on the other side of the map. I'll see you in three days, you know? Like, <laughs> that that just does not, not make sense to me. And I think that's a big problem when it comes to nesting. Again, I, I just my opinion. It might completely not be like this. I want to hear your opinions down in the comments about this. Thank you very much for watching. It was me, Mr. Beard, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, boys.